Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. And uh, I don't mean we are going to drink beer. No. Even though Mr. Dog here is enjoying his time wearing his <laughs> shower uh, rope, drinking some beer and enjoying his time. Priceless picture. I mean, what do you want more? You are a dog sleeping in a fancy bed. You have a beer in your hand. <laughs> Hello? Even a human being don't have that. Now listen, this is not about a dog drinking beer. It's about a God who drink beer. I mean, the God of Islam, obviously, when he made the Quran, he was drinking not only beer, he was taking hashish. He was taking cocaine, heroin, you name it. I mean, everything would make you drunk, lose your mind. It was in the table of Allah, Aka Muhammad. The funny, if we go on YouTube and we search for amazing things in the Quran, you will find hundreds and thousands of videos made by every fraud in the internet. Anyone when I get subscribers, he make those videos. Like, look at this guy. I am shocked. This is in the Quran? Like, what? And look, they choose those pictures. Look, I mean, he don't, he don't choose any picture for the thumb. He choose when he open his mouth. Like, what? I can't believe it. This is in the Quran. Like, what, what? I mean, and all of them is the same garbage. Like, what? Are you serious? And he have to put his hand around his head. And supposedly that will convince us that there is something in huge there. You have to click, click and watch. This is amazing. This is how, they've, this is how the fraud business. You will notice even people have nothing to do with the time they are doing this. So they can get subscribers because Muslims, you know, they subscribe to anyone who do those things. So if you want to get subscribers, you do such a stupid thing. And you know, you know, look what? This is amazing. This is really in the Quran. And then if we go like, wow, nine shocking things in the Quran. Like, wow, wow, wow. And then if we go and check and we watch, we would die laughing at the nine, nine, nine shocking things in the Quran. <laughs> amazing things about the Quran <laughs> like what brother like the flying carpet of Suleiman who can carry 600,000 chair or Allah he sent the iron to kill each other and he sent down feather with it as if you are a chicken which one Indian reaction to on 10 surprising things in the Quran. Look, the, you see, you notice the Indian reaction is different from like from this reaction. Look at this guy. I mean, look at the fraud. Anyone, when I get subscribers, they do this business. It's a business. Like what? Science in the Quran? Then, and all of them, they are stuck like with 10 surprising. I mean, they are, look, look, look. All of them, they are 10 surprising things in the Quran. I mean, what, make it nine, man, for God's sake, once. I mean, come on. Ten surprising. Oh, here we have nine. Here we have nine. The rest is ten surprising things in the Quran. Ten surprising things in the Quran. Ten surprising things in the Quran. Everybody have ten surprising. They copy even the title. For all of them, they are a fraud. Now, we are live on air. And I challenge any Muslim to quote for me any of those surprising things in the Quran. Live on air. And I guarantee you, we will die laughing at what is really surprising because I, I agree it's surprising like look this guy he uh, he have a channel it's called ftd 10 time islam mentioned in the quran if, 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 if. what does that mean what is that is that like saying i mean the most stupid disgusting propaganda all what they care for is getting subscribers they knew how to do it. They knew the trick. They knew the game. You sell yourself to the devil. Holy Quran experiment, New York City. Is that where, uh, I, as I know, the experiment happened already in 9-11. Is that a different one? And you Muslim, you were dancing in the street shouting Allahu Akbar. Is that a new one? Ted show they invite Muslims to promote Islam. They will never invite us there because they are coward, fake, and fraud. Ten surprising things about the Quran. Here, this Abdul is going to tell you about ten surprising things in the Quran. But you, 
But why all of them they are repeating the same thing? Because they are a fraud. All of them. Now, who is a Muslim? If you don't dare to call me <clears throat> about your religion to tell me the 10 surprising things in the Quran, I understand if you are scared. Why we are why we have only a few hundred of people? Where is everybody? Because this is not my time. You guys are not used to me in this time. So what? What if I have 10 surprising things now in the Quran? Okay, let us talk about 10 surprising things in the Quran and those are real, not those fabricated stories where Muslims they try to make the Quran the book of science. Number one, the Quran claim that man sperm is coming from the backbone. <laughs> the backbone, brother. And women have a sperm too and coming from the ribs. Is that a true brother? Where is the surprise? Why you don't mention this in the, in the videos, you know, when you make videos, Muhammadan? And those who they are not Muhammadan. I mean, if you are not a Muhammadan, why you make a video saying Quran have a lot of amazing things, but yet you don't convert to Islam? Obviously, you are a fraud. So the Quran is amazing for you, but you don't want to be a Muslim. Just you want to get subscribers. What kind of God, he say, that is sperm, is something proceeding from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women? You tell me. What kind of God he say that if the man have orgasm first, the baby will look like the father? If the women have orgasm first, the baby will look like the mother, which means female. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's not YouTube missing with my number, my friend. It's Allah. Surprise, surprise. Allah have control everything. Allah he control everything. No, you can, but you can change the numbers. You just share the link with your friends in Facebook, etc. And tell them there is a surprise, surprise in the Quran. Just come here. There is a guy converting to us now. <laughs> so, you know, when the Muslims, they speak about surprising things in the Quran, we find the Quran very laughable. As an example, if you read <clears throat> any verse in the Quran, and you will see how the Muslim today, they explain the Quran totally different from what the Quran is explained for centuries. Why the Muslim they try to do that? Because simply, they are ashamed of what is written. So they try to make something not exist there. As an example, all those videos who say 10 amazing things in the Quran, all of them they share the same video. As an example, it says, and Allah said in the Quran, we created everything, every living thing from water. And how a man who lived in the desert of Saudi Arabia, he knew this. I mean, a guy who lived in the desert, he did not notice that everything is based on water. I mean, this is a miracle. However, according to Islam, this is a stupid mistake. Because the Quran says that we created every living thing from water. But angels in Islam are not created from water. Shaitan and genie are not created from water. Angels are created from light. Genie created from fire. So when the Quran say we created every living thing from water, he brought a contradiction for other verses is speaking about how he, you know, he created the shaitan, the genie, the angels. You cannot say everything is created from water. For this is a contradiction for what you said in different verse, regardless if this statement is true or not. Have you ever read the Sirat Tabar? You know, my friend, I never heard of it. This is new. Just I just heard it from you. People they ask me questions, I find it really funny. Have you ever heard of Sirat Tabar? No, I did not. He, he's a guy, he exists. <laughs> anyway, so when somebody says, we made it from the water, every living thing, either he is a stupid, he forgot what he said previously, that he created the genie, the shaitan, and he, you know, those are creatures. The Quran says, every living thing. When you say every, it's every. That's it. There's, you cannot say it's not every. How does God, he say such a statement? 
This is the number one you will see the Muslims they have it in those videos with every Abdul copy and paste. I'm not playing them because you know they claim copyright for it. Look at this verse. Don't the believers see that the heavens and the earth were joined together? No, they don't see. I mean, look at the stupidity here. The Muslim they say that this is the Big Bang. The Muslim they say Allah is speaking about the Big Bang. But then we go and read the Quran, we will see Allah, He took Him many days to create the earth and the heaven, and the heaven created at the end, the stars, the last thing to be created in cha one chapter. Like if you go right now, go cha compare between chapter 41 in the Quran and chapter 79, you will die laughing. God, He don't remember which one He created first, the stars or the, or the earth. The stars or the trees. So in one chapter he say he created first the stars and then he created the trees and the substance and other chapter he say the opposite the first he created the earth and then he created the trees and the water and all the way at the end he created the stars go check it out but look at the stupidity here the muslim they say this verse as an example is about the big bang there's a big bang in your head don't you see the verse saying, don't the believer, the unbeliever see, it's something we can't see. Not something happened in the past. It's something happening every day. It's happening in the time of Muhammad. Don't the unbeliever see that the heaven and the earth were joined together. And this is very stupid statement. Because we are still joined together. We are just a little dust inside the space. Who said we are not? And here between a bracket, the Muslims, they try to fix it. They say, hey, as one unit of a creation, we still as one unit of a creation. Is it the universe is one unit of a creation? And we are just a little tiny dust. What is the earth? Is the, the earth is nothing compared to the universe. It's not even a dust. But the Quran claim that Allah, he separate them. The same as you take two fabric stitches from each other, but we are not. We are inside the space. We are swimming in the space. And then he says, we made from the water every living thing. Will they not then believe? What from the water every living thing? That's not true. Who said though? So the Quran says so. The same is stupid Quran, say this is not a true. Let us open the Quran and die laughing together. The most laughable, laughable book. Hmm. <clears throat> is that the Quran? Is that the Quran? Or I'm making things up. And the jinn race we had created before from fire. Where is the water? But the verse, the other verse says everything. Muslim, does it say every living thing? Every living thing. And the Quran says, that if this book is not from Allah, he will find a lot of contradiction. Well, this is a very easy contradiction to see. Do we have any Muslim have something to say? Any Muslim have anything to say? Is it true that the genie created it from fire, not from water? A Muslim man, he will say to you, Oh, Allah, he speak about what is in the earth. Will the genie live in the earth, you idiot? And by the way, Allah did not even create Adam in the earth. He created him in heaven, according to Islam. Same as the genie. Both of them are created in heaven. Idiot. Any Muhammad? Muhammadan? Somebody saying, would you, you should join Sam Shamoon and David Wood live in Saturday? No, my friend, I like to do my work alone. They do a great job. I am happy for them, but I like to do my things in my way. And there is no need to be with that, to have a busy, crowded, you know. I mean, what for? Three of us? What for? Are we going to have pizza? 
do we have any Muslim have anything to say? All those videos are saying the same. Okay, the Muslim they say that Allah He sent down the iron. Does it say that Allah He sent down the iron? Really? And they say to you, brother, and discovery and the mission to you, scientists, that the iron was not in the earth. That's a stupid statement, you idiot. The magma of the earth is full of iron. What the scientists they say, there is a mount of iron exists in the crust of the earth was sent down from the space through millions of years. But your God, he claimed that he created the earth and the heaven in a few days. Some verses say seven days, eight days, and some verses say six days. Because Allah don't remember. But if we go and see this verse, just for a laugh, to show you the deception. Hmm. Look what they quote for you, just to show you the fraud of the Muhammadan. We send down, we send a fourth time, our messenger with a clear sign. Hmm. And we send down with them the book. Do you see it? And we send down the Aram. But, but this is mean that if you are saying that this is literally happening, that's mean Allah, he sent the Quran printed literally and Allah sent the messenger literally and Muhammad was sent from heaven literally this is what it's not saying to say that what the verse here is saying that it is us who created all those things for you it's us who provided those things for you that's all the Muslim they make a science no problem if this is true that mean iron was not exist when Adam was uh, created because according to science the iron came down with the meteor long before a human is exist but look what the verse is saying we send down to you which means the human was exist read it carefully as well as a benefit for mankind and he sent down the iron so we kill each other this is supposed to be the benefit do you see it? Allah did not send even the iron to do something with it. He sent the iron so we will slaughter each other with it. It says it's not in front of you. We send down the iron, which is a material for mighty war, as well as many benefit for mankind. So mankind was there before the iron, or the iron was there before the mankind. Science says the opposite. Science says that iron came before the existence of mankind. Quran says no. Allah sent the books send the messengers and send the iron for the mankind it's in front of you any muhammadan have a comment hmm? in different verse in the quran allah he, he claimed that he sent us reach yaborisha He sent us down feather. How come you Muslim don't make a miracle about it? He sent down feather. Are you sure? As long as you are mentioning what Allah he sent down. Okay, well this is what Allah he sent sent down. This stupid website is stop, it's not working. Oh boy. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? He have a comment about Allah he sent down? Is it true? Allah he sent down? Feather on us? Why we are chicken? Why, why, why the Quran says feather? I don't know what happened to this website. Finally, it's working. Here we go. Ya Bani Adam, O children of Adam, we bestrid a remnant upon you. Where it says that? Okay. Where is the rest to cover your shame? Where is the, where is the feather? 
Where is the feather? You see here the Muslim, they keep saying that Allah, he sent down the Aaron and they say it's literally, right? Well, Allah, he, everything in the Quran sent down. As you see, even our clothes is sent down from Allah. So if you have a panty, this is made by Allah and his manufacturer, which is located in China. But look at the fabricated translation, the word feather disappear. Why? This is translation of Yusuf Ali. Let us see different translation. We change it. Let us see different one. Fraud, like their prophet. Garbage in, garbage out. Uh, let us see different. Maybe we can find it a decent by mistake. You say feather. Uh, there's no feather. Huh? This guy have a feather. Uh oh. How come it disappear in the other one? I mean, how come such an important word disappear and feathers? When the last time we saw a human being, he is covered by feather as a clothing. I understand that the Indian, like in America, they used to have some feather in their head, but this is not a covering. Do you see it? So they say to you, Allah, he sent down the Aaron and the science discover that's a lie. And according to this, the Quran is a fraud. Why? How Allah he created, what is the order of a creation according to science? Those who claim about Allah, he sent down the Aaron. Why you don't quote for me what the scientists they say? First, they don't say all the iron we have is coming down from the sky. This is absolutely a lie. Some of it. Number two, the blood of a human being have iron, my friend. So if there was no iron when God created Adam, and, uh, and God, he sent later iron, that means Adam, he was without iron all the time. <laughs> and that is impossible. If you have deficiency in your iron, in your blood, you will die immediately. Immediately. You won't even survive 24 hours. If we take the iron from your blood. So this is how they lie in everything they claim about the Quran. And here we are, we are here. Who is a Muslim when I call me and challenge me and prove to me any of those amazing things they have in YouTube to be truthful? Any Muhammadan? Let me log in my Skype. If there is any Muhammadan, open a challenge. He dare. To choose as you wish. Do you remember the guy from Indonesia? He called me. His name is Budi. I can Budi. And he told me the Quran speak about relativity of time. <laughs> Let us go in Skype. Maybe we can get a fish. Fish in time. Somebody saying, can you show me a single mistake in the Quran? Everything in front of you is a mistake. Uh, guys, look what Islamic defense is saying. I mean, come on, Islamic defense. Can you show me a single mistake in the Quran? The verse in the front of you isn't a mistake. Which a human, he received feather from Allah as a clothing. Can you name one for me? Is that a mistake or a stupid statement? Because if none, even in your Islamic stories, this means this verse is fabricated. So when you say to me, can you show me a mistake? Let me take a selfie of it. I like it. I'm going to put it in my screen. Can you show me a mistake? Can you show me a mistake in the Quran? The whole Quran is a mistake. That's what I'm saying. Call me and choose for me the best of your verses and we will laugh at it. And the verse in the front of us is an example. Can you name for me? Any human being, he received a clothing made from feather in the history of mankind, sent by Allah. Do human wear feather? Your God Allah is confused between a chicken and a human. Are you there, Mr. Sunnah Def Defense? Are you there, my friend? What about you call me and you say to me, 
I want to show you amazing things in the Quran. I don't want to show you mistakes in the Quran. I want you to show me amazing things in the Quran. Because I can show you the whole Quran is a mistake. <coughs> what do you say? Do you want to call me our friend? Because where is everybody? We have only 500 people here. If we are making a recipe about how to make a, a underwear from feather, as Allah he said, we will get more people. Okay, we will change the title. How to make a, a bikini made from feather. Actually, these days, I mean, women, they are not even wearing the bikini. I mean, there's no feather. There's nothing there. We need the feather these days. The whole bikini is one feather. Any Muslim can she say something to us? Who is a Muslim when I call me? My Skype is open, my friend. Feel free. I will be happy to have you. And, uh, you know, trust me, I will speak to you nicely. Hmm. Sam, are you being funny now or stupid? Any Muslim have anything to say? You can choose as you wish anything, any, any topic you want to prove to us Islam is not lovable. I believe Islam is the most lovable, lovable stupid religion ever. I mean, this is a religion. Say to me, if you pray to a God, which Muhammad never met, never spoke to, which is very funny, this God will make your penis endless. It will give you a wife, her ass is one mile, which I like it big, actually, you know, I mean one mile, but I'm disappointed about the size. Always I want it to be bigger. I mean, one mile only. What if I have a friends and we are going to do hiking? One mile is not enough. I mean, just make it like 100 mile, but smooth. And then those guys, they try to climb over the butt and they will be, you know, suffering. Uh, you will be lovable again because the winter jacket are made of feather inside. <laughs> this is this is the ultimate chicken, the ultimate fart. Look what he said. He is answering. He said, brother, the winter jacket, brother, inside the army from feather, brother. <laughs> you donkey. The Quran says we send down the feather. What winter jacket, you idiot? Your God, Allah, he made winter jacket for you, made it from feather. And since when, winter jacket inside them, there is feather. Why, you live in the chicken land? You are confused between pillows and jacket, you donkey. Hmm. Do you want me to remind you of... Actually, anyone can search for ultimate fart videos, you will die laughing. Any Muslim have anything to say? Allah, he sent jackets for winters and they are full of feathers. The answer of a boy from Senegal. Ah, true answer. Yeah. Actually, if you open your jacket right now, you will see it's made by, made by Allah Featherland. Who is a Muhammad and want to say something for us amazing in the Quran? Until now, we found nothing but lovable. Choose anything. You choose it, we do it. What do you say? Anyone? Any Muhammadan? By the way, this guy from Senegal, he said that you do not know to know Arabic to understand the Quran. I mean, do you see stupidity? You do not know to know, you do not need to know Arabic to understand the Quran. So, okay, but you cannot read the book, how you can understand it then? Brother, you do not know need Arabic, you do not even need to read it. Go and watch the video, people are dying laughing. But even his God, he said that we send the Quran so you might understand. We send the Quran in Arabic so my, you might understand. But according to him, no, he understands the Quran without knowing Arabic. He's, he's God, you know, this guy is God. And he have a jacket made from feather inside. I mean, come on. 
Do we have any Abdul? Why Allah he sent the Quran in Arabic? Any Muslim can answer? I mean, it's a language you don't understand, and even the Arab, they are not good in it, for it's very stupid language. Arabic is one of the most stupid mixed up language ever. And actually, a guy who is not even an Arab who came to the Arab to fix their grammar. And when they fix it, they make it more horrible because they try to make it fit with the Quran, which is full of mistakes. Hmm? But look what the Quran said. All those verses speaking about why Allah he sent the Quran in Arabic. And we have sent down, Allah sent down to see he goes not only the feather, anything Allah he sent, he sent down. And I wonder where where is Allah right now? I mean he keeps saying down, down where? Because the space have you know, I mean the, do, do, obviously the Quran think that the earth is a flat. And Allah is in one direction. Send down, send down, send down. Where are you exactly now? As in Arabic, so you might understand. So obviously, how this is how the Muslim they say the Quran is a book for all mankind. When the Quran says we send the Quran in Arabic, so you might understand. What do you say? Do you want to debate me? Call me, my friend. I cannot debate you. You are you are a hero. I mean, you are a guy who don't accept the Quran interpretation. You have your own interpretation. You don't speak Arabic. I mean, who can debate you? Anything I say to you, you give me your own answer. That's it. You have your own religion by yourself. You are a prophet by yourself. Nobody can debate such a guy. When you debate somebody, you have to debate, debate him about the religion is already exist. Your religion is not exist yet. It's in the time of fabrication. You are fabricating your own. So now if we ask you here, why Allah he sent the Quran, he said, oh, we send the Quran in Arabic, you will give me an answer nobody heard of before. So nobody can debate you. And when I say to you, show me the proof and the reference you don't have. When I say to you, Al-Qurtubi ibn Kathir al-Tabari, you say those are stupid. <laughs> and then you quote for me a translation of the Quran made by a guy who was killed by Muslims for he is not a Muslim no more. And he claimed to be a prophet or a messenger. You're an idiot, an idiot kid. Everybody is scared of you. You are, are you kidding me? If I show him the hadith, he said, this is written by the stupid Arab, but isn't it your prophet is an Arab and he's a stupid then, right? You get him busted? Well, he can call me, no problem. Call me, call me, ultimate fault. Ultimate fault, call me. Change your name. I'm not going to look for your name. Make a new name and call me right now. So just just for a laugh. You know, people want a laugh. Eh, what we can do? <clears throat> call me Abdul. No, you know, we will give him a chance just for fun, you know. Call me Abdul. Make a name and give me a call. What we will do, this is what happens when we are looking for a customer. I mean, you open a coffee shop, restaurant, and we serve camel urine, still they don't come. Hmm. No, actually, he's a good entertainment, because you see, when the Muslims, they deny what is written in their books, it's a good sign. When they fabricate their own answers, it's embarrassing. Because we ask him, where you get this from? He have no answer. Do you have reference? He have no answer. Your prophet says that, he don't accept it. So he have a new religion. That's a great sign. This guy in the process of farting at Allah and he's a prophet. Already actually he did fart, many times. If we show him right now, as an example, how the earth and the, the heaven is created, what he will say. He will say, Muhammad, yeah, uh, this is a stupid hadith, I don't accept it. The stupid hadith, he don't accept it. So he is saying clearly, Muhammad is a stupid. What we can say to him? This is why we should actually like him more. But I don't, you know, uh, the reason I don't like to talk to him because he keep talking, he don't let me talk. He's like a radio station. Like, he will not let you talk. 
and he is filthy. He assaulted my mother, my father, even though he is the son of Muta, not me. According to Islam, his mother, she can sleep with every new guy every few days if you want. <clears throat> Did the Bible say Allah? Uh, Mr. RMK. I don't like stupid uh, statement, my friend, because if you are talking about the Bible translation, that is not the Bible. There's not a single time the word Allah is mentioned in our Bible. That is a translation. The same as in your Quran, not a single time the word Jesus is mentioned in the Quran. It is Isa. Did you hear me, Mr. RMK? Not a single time in the Quran, the word Jesus or Yeshua, or the true name of Jesus, Yeshua, is mentioned in the Quran. There's a name of a guy we do not know who is he. His name is Isa. So when you say to me in the Bible, it says Allah, that's because you are stupid. You are caught in a translation. And this is a false translation. The same as the Quran says Jesus in the translation. This is a false translation. You should not translate the name. Any Muhammadan want to say anything? Until now we have zero Muhammadan. Not even half Muhammadan texting me or saying anything to me. So look what Muhammad he said. Uh, she is the one who called me. Okay, well, you know, if you remember what she said, I don't want to insult her. She sounds like a nice girl. But if you remember, she said that, uh, you know, she have a Christian friends. When we showed her the verse in the Quran saying, you cannot take a friends. She said, no, this is about uh, awliya. Oh, what awliya mean? Go and see the dictionary. Go and see the interpretation. Awliya is even more horrible. That's mean you cannot accept. Who is the one who protects you in Syria? The American. This is Awliya. Who is the one who stopped Erdogan from slaughtering you? The Awliya. Trump. So the Quran is saying if you take them as Awliya, you are one of them. But you know, usually what the Muslims they do, when they say something very embarrassing, they try to fabricate their own answers in order to cover what is embarrassing. The Quran is the book of hate, the book of violence, the book of killing, the book of disgusting, stupid things, and the top of that, the book of comedy. Look at this. The message of Allah took hold in my hand. And he said, Allah the exalted, the glorious, created the earth on Saturday, the mountains on Sunday, the trees in Monday, and things in Tyre and labor in Tuesday, the light in Wednesday. Do you remember the dad was laughing at the Bible saying that God created the sun in Wednesday? <laughs> and the dad, he says, your God, your God in the Bible says that he created the sun in Wednesday. So the earth and the animals without light for all those days. That's not true. God in the first day, you go, go, to, the, go to the book of Genesis right now, you will see God, he said, let be light and light was. And he called the daylight and the night, the dark night. So he created light. The sun is additional light. Liar. He created what is called light. He said, let be light and light was. And he was laughing at what is written in the Bible, but his, this is his prophet saying that. His prophet copying from the Bible saying that God created the sun in Wednesday, not light. Do you see it? And if you look at the total days, Muhammad saying, how Allah created everything, you will see the total is seven days. But the Quran says, which means Muhammad said, Allah created everything in seven days, six days. Saturday, is the start. Why Allah start on Saturday? Uh, because he was on vacation on Friday. Saturday, he created the, you know, uh, the, the dust. And the, mounted in, the mountains in Sunday, this is two. Count with me. And then the trees in Monday, this is three. And then entire in labor in Tuesday, this is four. And the light in Wednesday, this is five. 
and he split the animals all kind into in Thursday. This is six. And he created Adam in the afternoon of a Friday. <laughs> I like the afternoon thing. So what is the total? Seven days. But the Quran says that Allah created everything in six days. And then he went to the heaven and he sat in the top of his throne. Muhammad, he forgot what he said in the Quran. Obviously, he's a fraud. I mean, don't tell me, because the Muslim, they say everything Muhammad he teach is from Allah. He's protected by Allah. His mouth protected by Allah. His mouth protected by Allah, obviously. That's why satanic verses exist, exist in the Quran. Do we have any Muhammad that want to say something? What happened to ultimate fault? I thought he is going to call me. What happened? Not a single text from anyone. Where are you, ultimate fault? Come on, we want to have fun. Yeah, call me, call me, and call the Arab stupid. He will call me, he will say, Oh, those, uh, those Arab, the Arab, they are stupid. They are the one who wrote this hadith. But the Quran is a hadith. I mean, don't you know that the Quran is a hadith? And the one who wrote the Quran for you is the Arab? The Arab. Not, if not, if not even Muhammad. And actually, nobody knows who wrote the Quran. Because the Quran, according to Muslims, is a collection of many people. How we can be sure that they are telling the truth? Hmm. Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan would like to say anything? And by the way, we have to admit Muhammad is a doctor. You know, he's, he's very well famous. I mean, he's not only famous that he is trustworthy, as the Muslims they say. He's a trustworthy to the point he go to your house and flirt with your wife when you are not there. This is what he did with his own son, wife. It's okay. I mean, that's normal. Good people, they do that. Good people, they go to the house of their son. They see the wife wearing something sexy, and you know it. And he flirt with her. I mean, those are good people. The, the bad people is the one who don't do that to your wife. The good ones, they are the one who do that. So Muhammad is a trustworthy. Just yesterday, I was reading the news about a Jordanian guy. He did rape a cat. And they are trying to find where is he. He is following Abu Huraira. Abu Huraira is called the father of the cats. Why? He was always molesting cats. Anytime you go to him, he have in his lap a cat. A poor woman, she said in the news, that her cat disappeared for a few hours, and then she came back bleeding. She didn't know why she is bleeding. She called a doctor. They told her to bring her over to the hospital to see what happened. And then the surprise was, she was raped. Can you believe it? This sick religion? Even a cat is not safe. This is why Islam start a guardian for women. Because if you don't have a guardian, Islam teach Muslim to behave to the point they will kidnap her. I mean, you see, the second you say a woman need a guardian, that's mean a woman is not safe in Islamic countries. Otherwise, why she need a guardian? Correct, guys? Do we agree? That a woman who need a guardian in any society, any city, that means she is not safe. And what exactly she is not safe from? Rape. Rape. Why in Islamic cities, in Mecca, in Medina, women, they have need a guardian? You tell me why. If everybody is a believer, I mean, why in the land of the Kuffar, the women do not need a guardian. The Muslim, they say to you, oh, they have a lot of rape in USA. Do you want to show you? My friend in USA, if a wife, her husband, sleep with her against her will, this is a rape. In Islam, a Muslim, he can sleep with his wife, force her, and he rape her, and this is not a rape. She can't even call the police.
I found the video. This guy is talking about the full story of raping the cat. I mean, look at this, man. Let me show you the news. Hold on. Give me, give me a second. Video. Urduniya Tanshor. Video. He's not even a female cat. He's a, he's a male cat. He's a male cat. They rape a male cat. Let me click a translation. Give me a second. <clears throat> A video of Jordanian women published video of a brutal rape of a cat, Amman Jordan. You cannot even leave a cat alone in Islamic countries. A cat. This is not a woman. This is not a child. A cat. If you watch the video, you will not believe it. This poor cat is always dying. The American army, when they were in Iraq, they have like uh, night vision cameras. And those cameras, they record 24 hours, anything move around them. Every day, there's a new video about Iraqi having sex with his donkey. A new place, in every place, every place in Iraq or the cow, or the goat. Go watch them, if you don't believe me. If you remember my debate with the, with a guy, I, don't, I cannot call it a debate, his name is Nadir Ahmad, he's just a crazy person. When we showed him the hadith about having sex with animals, he said, isn't it better than your Bible says, smash the head of the babies? <laughs> He agree, as a prophet, have sex with the goat. He didn't, he didn't see a problem with that. I mean, what is the problem? Let me see if I can find the hadith. Now we have a caller. Maybe this is ultimate for this call. <clears throat> Hello? What's up, C Pig? Hey, uh, ultimate fort. How are you? Oh, why is the ultimate daddy? Come on, man. Okay, so you are a daddy, but you have no children, do you? Okay. You. Like your prophet, you. your, your prophet is a daddy, but he have no children. Is that true? No, I got children. Yes, he have no children. Do you have any children? Yes. Where? One in a, uh, doing his uh, senior college in Paris at the most. Where we can North find North it? where we can find this information. Where we can find this information? Why? Why would you need my 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 daughter's information? No, no, no. I'm not uh, talking about your daughter. I'm talking about Muhammad. He have a children's. Where we can find this information? Oh, talking about me? Talking I'm not about talking about you. I'm talking about Muhammad. Who are you? Are no one. I'm talking about Muhammad. You said Muhammad have a children's. How Muhammad have a children? Where oh, you get this information? I thought you was talking about me. If I had children, you call yourself daddy. I don't know. Anyway, do Muhammad have children? Who cares? I care. I'm asking you. You are the scholar. I want to learn from you. Do Muhammad have children? Muhammad is not here for children. Muhammad is here to bring a message. So if he have, if he is not here for a children's, so why it's important for Muhammad to have many women? If he is not, this is not his business. Oh, 
because man is supposed to be having a wife, right? But he is, this is not his business. A second ago, you told me this is not his business. He is to bring a message. So why he want to bring more women? Why One wife is fine. Why he want to have all those women? So he cannot have a children's. He don't have a children's. And yet he want to have more women. Why? You don't marry to have children. You marry for what then? Or you, or, or you think marriage is for children? No, I do not know. Yeah, for me, if I want to marry, I want to have a children, yeah. I guess I guess if a full, I guess if two fifty years old uh, people married, so you are, are you expecting to do? Well, I'm asking you. Kids? It doesn't matter if Muhammad is fifty years old and get married, he cannot have kids. I heard when your daddy married your mom, they was both fifty some. No, I never said that. This is your fabrication. <laughs> That's what he said. They, no, you are you are you are a fabricator. You are a fabricator right? like your prophet. And don't talk about my parents, otherwise I will insult your parents. Be careful. You're the one that talked about them. I did, I did not talk, talk about them. them. No, I did not. I did not. You are the one who said that there is a prophet in the Bible. He married a child. She is three years old. And this is a lie. Nowhere it says that. And I say to you, so if my dad, he seen my mom when she was three years old, and then he didn't marry her long after that, that means he married her when she is three years old? If this is the first time he saw her, she was three years old? That's what I say. So, and now you are fabricating a story. Now don't so, change the topic. Don't change the topic. Did your prophet have a children or not? Did your prophet have a children or not? It's historically, he might have. So what? What historically? So you do not know anything about your prophet now? I said historically. He I'm not asking you history. Prophet. This is not the question. This is but not the question. This is not the question. What? Do, so what do you know about your prophet? What, what do you know about your prophet? Okay, well, hold on. What is the name of your? What is the name of your prophet? Forget about him having kids. Well, are you losing it again? Just calm down, bro. Where, what See, is you, because you don't want to answer. You don't want to answer. You calm down. You calm down. You listen, I'm letting you speak. What is the name of your prophet? Muhammad. Okay, that's it. That's it. This is the only name you know about your prophet? What is his last name? I, I don't have to have last name. So how do you know he exists? Where, where he was located? Which where? where what, which year? Which, uh, which his family? Where? Just like, just like every prophet, just like Moses is just Moses, just like Abraham is. No, we know, Abraham, we know the like, father of Moses. Like, we know, we know the father like, of Moses. We know the name of the father like, of Abraham. We know the father of everybody. What? You tell me. I'm why asking you. Is, what no, is the name why, of why, the why, father why, of why, your why, prophet? Where he was born? What his name? Full name? And what is his family? Where? where what do you? What do you know about him? That's mean you are saying to me. I know nothing about Muhammad. You know, just that's only his name is Muhammad. What, what, what I know about him is what Allah says about him. Allah said... Okay, that, so you know nothing that, except what Allah he said about him. Okay, know, that's wonderful. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know he was an orphan. Okay, no problem. You're Allah. So, You're Allah, he said, that the penis of Muhammad don't function. Why Allah, Allah speaking said, about that? I said, man, why? I said, I know he was an orphan. Where did it say... Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm, don't change the topic. Why Allah speaking about that Muhammad is a cut off somebody made fun of him but yet he don't want to tell us what is the story what somebody is saying to him is cut off what does that mean he said what he's cut off they are making fun of his penis don't function he don't have a penis what does that mean why do you need to know about this that 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 we can see in your Bible, not in the Quran. No, here we go. This is in the Quran, chapter one, uh, eight, verse number three. Nowhere in the in the Bible it says such a thing. Yes, open Ezekiel twenty-three twenty. Yeah, open it and read it. And now answer about this. We will open Ezekiel twenty-three twenty, and we will laugh at you. Okay, go ahead. Now go ahead, read the verse. Read, it's in front of you in the in the screen. Why the Quran is speaking about your prophet being accused that he's cut off? He have no penis. Tell me what chapter. I just told you, chapter 108, verse number 3. 1083? Mm -hmm. I will read it. The Quran don't talk about that. The, the Bible does. You see, don't repeat yourself. You are an idiot as usual. And that's why always I hang up on you because you are a kid. I gave you the verse. Don't tell me it doesn't say that. Read it. That's all you do. You just... No, I hang up on you because you are a kid. You never answer anything. And you play games. You never answer. Okay, I ask you, who is Muhammad? You don't know. You just say to me, his name is Muhammad. The Quran says his name is Ahmad. So his name is Muhammad or, Mah or Ahmad? <laughs> Are you there? Hello?
Abdul, are you there? Hello. Yeah. I asked you the I asked you the name of your prophet. You said his name is Muhammad. The Quran say his name is Ahmed. So you obviously you most times are confused about the name. No, okay. Now chapter one o eight verse. You can read the whole chapter. It's three verses anyway. Yes, we have blessed you hmm. with many a bounty. Hmm. Therefore, you shall pray your Lord. Hmm. And give charity. What bounty? Where, where it says the word bounty? Where it says the, where it says the, where it says the word bounty? Charity, I said. Where charity it says the charity? Bounty. Where it says the charity? You know what charity means? No, no. Where it says the word charity? You see, you, you, you just you are just a kid. Don't make me get upset. Don't make me because I have to repeat the question one million times because you are so slow. Listen, I'm asking you. Where is the word charity in the first verse? Show it to me. I didn't say first verse, second verse. Second verse. Where in second verse it says a charity? You stupid idiot. Salli to Rabbika. It's mean to pray to your Lord. Yes, one har. Okay, and, and, and the slaughter. Where is the charity? I said one har, yes. That's, that's no, you said the charity. In her, in her, you idiot. In her, in her means put a knife in the neck of someone and kill him. This is what in her. Where is no. the word charity? You said the word no. charity. I'm asking you, where is the word charity? Like that, that's, no, that's Abdul, that's Abdul. Don't, don't waste my time. You are an idiot. Which translation you are reading? Read, read two, <laughs> two, one ninety six. That's about a Abdul, 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 Abdul. Okay, Abdul, Abdul. Okay, Abdul. Okay, 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 okay. It says here that Allah He gave him the fount and slaughter and kill and praise Allah. Okay, and the one who said to you, you are cut off. He is the one is cut off. Does it say that? Don't uh, play games. No. Does it say no. that? Yeah, uh, yeah. Come on, man. I allow you to. to I allow you to call me so we can laugh. Why Come on. Why you don't want to answer? Does it say? Does it say that they accuse him that his penis is cut off? Yes or no? No. Okay. Now, read, no okay. Read for me verse number three. Read for me verse. Read for me verse number. Uh, read for me. Read for me. Read for. Read for me verse number three. Ezekiel, I read everything you. No, you did not. You did not. No, you did not. No, no, you. No, you did not. No, you did not. Read verse number three. What does that mean? Is that Arabic supposedly? Are you now speaking Arabic supposedly to me? I mean, you are the most stupid donkey ever. When you say something, they they have uh, letters written in to, to sound like Arabic. Okay, okay. What the word after mean? You say I heard you saying the word after. What the word after mean? The word after. Yeah. What the word after mean? <laughs> that those who oppose you eh? will be losing. What lose what? Whatever they. If, if, if they come to oppose you, Abdul, it, it like, says, like, what oppose you? What oppose you? Okay, okay, Abdul, Abdul, let us do this. Abdul, let us do this. So everybody will laugh at you. And in a second, you will see how this ultimate fault, he will say, I don't accept this. Do you accept any Islamic interpretation for the verse? I, I, you know my position. Uh, get lost. Now, uh, uh, no, this is why I say, don't call me. Don't call me again. Son of Muta, don't call me again. You see, this is why I say, don't call me again. You are a kid. You know my position about interpretation. So you will give me your own interpretation. That's you have in your religion. Nobody have an interpretation except ultimate fault. He have his own interpretation. All Muslim scholars agree that people, they were making fun of him that he cannot have kids. And make fun of his penis specifically. And even Muhammad in the Quran, he seek refuge by Allah from when his penis stand up. Obviously, Aisha, the Hadith says, Aisha, she came to him and she started playing with his hair. She want to have sex. Muhammad, he said, I seek refuge by Allah when the penis stand up. And this is the interpretation. But this guy, he will not accept any interpretation because it's embarrassing. So why I will talk to you? You are just a kid. And when you speak about Ezekiel number 22, 23, you idiot, everybody can go and laugh, and laugh at you. You are a filthy, you are a coward, you are a son of Muta, you have no dignity. This is speak about two cities, it's not about even a human being.
two cities who they are following their lost, worshipping their pagan idols. You are filthy and you are stupid. You see, when we Christian, we have a verse in the Bible, we stand behind the interpretation. Why? Because we have nothing to fear. We are truthful. Muslims will not accept the interpretation of their own Quran, for they are ashamed of it. Anyone right now can go to Ezekiel number 23. No, it's okay. I mean, you can go. We can post it right now. Ezekiel number 3. Talking about the two cities, two nations, those tribes, describing as females, Ahola and Aholia. And those they have uh, following the pagan. This is not about a woman. Every single Jew, forget about the Christians. Do you accept the Jews? This is the book of the Jews, before it was our book. Every single Jew, he will say to you, this is what it meant. Shame on you. So who is Muhammad? He, or what he knew that Muhammad, his name is Muhammad. Do you know why he did not dare to say his father name is etc.? Because he, he said many times, he don't accept the hadith. So we know nothing about Islam. But all the Quran is a hadith. And what made those people funny from, from Africa who don't speak Arabic, they try to sound like they knew Arabic. But the fact, if you go here in the interpretation, they have an option you choose, which will make will make the Arabic appear in Latin letters. Let me see which one. I forgot which option. Um, maybe this one. Yeah, see? This is how he read. He is not reading Arabic. He do not know Arabic. None of them knows Arabic. This is a written in the Latin letters sound like when you read it as if you know Arabic. This is what he was reading. He don't know Arabic. They are coward. They are fraud. So when they, you know, you call, they call you and they start speaking and they try to claim that they know Arabic, they don't. They don't, they don't even know a single word in Arabic. You know my position from the interpretation. Okay, well, so, so you have, what, what religion you follow? You are not a Sunni, you are not a Shia, because Sunni and Shia both, they have interpretation. The Rus have interpretation. All Islamic sects, they accept interpretation. When you say I don't accept any of those interpretations, that's when you have a new religion. Get lost. I'm debating Muslims. I'm not debating a guy who has his own fabricated religion. There's nothing to debate about. RMK would like to convert. My friend, if she like to convert, she is welcome. But in Christianity, we don't accept, you know, to do shahada and lie to each other. You have to be truthful. You have to believe in Jesus. You have to reject hate. You have to reject violence. You have to reject what kind of God he teach. Uh, 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 R.K. She is listening. What kind of God he teach a man to beat you? What is that? Why does God he look down at you? Even the Hadith confirm that Muhammad consider women equal to donkeys and dogs he said three things disturb a muslim prayer a dog and a donkey and a woman and even though by the way even the horse the female horse and the women is the omen of the house can you believe it this man who teach superstition He taught his followers bad fortune happened because of a female horse and a woman. Read it. Am I lying? And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. 
not only he is teaching his followers a lie about something called evil omen, claiming that having a woman who have bad fortune will bring bad fortune to you, and female horse. This is where danger coming from. Read it. Evil omen was mentioned before the prophet. The prophet said, if there is evil omen is in anything, it is in the house, the women, and the horse. Which horse? Female horse. Because he mentioned the word faras in Arabic, which means female horse. So both of them are female. Why a woman she would accept to be a Muslim? What kind of God he says beat your wife? Okay, we have a Muslim asking a question, and this is an interesting question actually. Thank you, Mr. Muhammad Qadr, for this question, and let me answer you. I like smart questions when Muslim they think hard, but be careful because usually, you know, you are you as a Muslim when you think hard, usually you hurt yourself because you don't choose to do that. But I appreciate that from you. Let me put in the screen what this uh, Muslim he said. <clears throat> Give me a second. And here, by the way, the first thing you will notice when Muslim, this is why Muslims don't dare really to debate me, unless they are like uh, ultimate fault, because he's a kid, he can say whatever he want, and nobody will count on him. He, you know, he can call me. But those who consider themselves have a career in Islam, they will never dare to call me. Muhammad Qadr, he said, do you believe in original sin? If it's true, doesn't mean Mary and Jesus inherited sin? That's very nice of you to think, and this is a good question. First of all, Jesus is not the son of any man. Even Jesus called himself the son of man, but this is metaphorically. But all of us, we knew that Jesus is born of no sin and no sexual relationship, and that explains why Jesus is not the son of any man. For if he is, he will be having sin from Adam. Jesus is the Word of God who became a flesh. About Mary, every human being inherited the sin of Adam. But what does that mean? It doesn't mean that she is a sinner and she is filthy. No. That means that every human being have the nature of Adam. As Adam commits sin, a human being commits sin. However, even your Quran confirmed that Mary, she was preserved from sin unless you are accusing your Quran to be a liar. To the point that when she gave birth to Jesus, Satan could not touch her or touch him. And I can show you the Hadith. Why? Because she was preserved. And why she is preserved, protected by God? Because of Jesus. So here we notice that even the Quran speak about Jesus in such a way. The Hadith confirm the story shaitan cannot touch Mary and Jesus and the Quran confirmed that Mary she was a virgin the virginity here is about being a pure not only she had no sex she never have sin and even the hadith confirmed that nobody in this earth except Jesus did not commit sin so if you don't accept your Islamic religion teaching that's your problem but you have to accept now the Muslim they say they don't believe in original sin but the fact they do Muslims are ignorant. Look what your prophet he said. Isn't if we ask this Abdul, is Musa a Muslim? He would say yes. He's a prophet. They would say yes. Okay. Do, do Musa's believe in original sin? He would say no. Mr. Qadir, do do Musa's believe in original sin? Yes or no, my friend? Do Musa's believe in original sin? Are you there, Mr. Qadir? Do Moses believe in original sin? I'm waiting for your answer. No. Okay, so guys, Mr. Qadir, he said, no. Can you make it full sentence to be sure that this is what you meant? 
Can you make it? Can you say Musa did not believe in original sin? I will put it in the screen. If you don't mind. Yeah, but just make a full sentence so people will see that this is your full answer. I want you to say clearly, because you are not speaking to me by voice, so text can be confusing. I want you to say, Musas don't believe in original sin because he's a Muslim. Can you say that? All right, that's wonderful. Guys, here we go. Mr. Qadr, he confirmed to us what he meant. He said, Musas don't believe in original sin. Well, that's your ignorance. Sorry to say so. This is your prophet in Sahih al-Bukhari showing us that there was a debate between Adam and Moses. Moses called Adam in sky and he asked him, Muhammad, you don't explain to us how those stupid things happen. I mean, how Moses, he is talking to Adam if both of them are dead. Ah, stories. Muhammad is talking. Muhammad remind me of a grandma. She is in the age of 130. She lost her tooth, but she cannot stop talking. Eh, listen, the prophet said, Moses argued with Adam and said to him, you are the one who got the people of outer paradise by your sin. That's the original sin. That's the original sin. Original sin in Christianity, that we are out of heaven because of the sin of Adam. And because of the sin of Adam, we are in the earth. That's what Moses believed. And then thus made them miserable. Adam replied, O Moses, you are the one whom Allah selected of his message and he in his direct speech or talk yet you blame me for a thing which Allah has ordained for me before he created me do you see it so Musa is obviously he believed in the teaching of the Bible and this is a proof that Muhammad is a fraud and Musa is not a Muslim as Muhammad and clean because there's no way Moses was a prophet. He's not just a guy who got wrong information. This is a prophet of God. Yet he believed in the original sin. How such a mistake can happen? I remember this is a debate after they die, which means Moses, he died and still he believed in original sin. That's not original sin. Okay, here we go. We have another smart Muslim. Hold on. You see, those Muslims are priceless. And I will show you why. Hold on. That is not original sin. Look what this guy he said. And in a second, you will see he will change his statement. And that's why they don't dare to call me. Hmm. Mr. Stranger, he said, give us He's giving us a definition of original sin. He said, that's not original sin. Original sin, so that all humans are born with sin because of Adam, you idiot. Well, we, are to, we are out of heaven if Adam commits sin. So why we are out of heaven? Why we are on earth? And why we die? Heaven have eternal life. Secondly, I will go with you. That is not original sin. Original sin that all of a human being is born with sin, you donkey. Don't you know that your prophet says, كل ابن آدم خطاء? Every son of an Adam is a sinner, which means he's born with a sin. <laughs> Idiots. They do not know what their prophet said. Therefore, they open their mouth and the second they open it, they make poo poo. This is your prophet and this is the hadith. Let us show it in the screen. Do you see it? Every son of an Adam, no exception. Why he mentioned the son of Adam? Because they inherited Adam's sin. And the best of you is the one who asks for forgiveness. So everyone is born, it's a must. It's a must. Every son of Adam, this is why Jesus is not the son of Adam. Who's next? 
Who is the next smart Muslim here have something to say? If there is an exception that there is no human being is not a sinner? No. There is no exception except Jesus. Who is next? Quiet? Silence? Commit sin, not born with sin? No, no, my friend. Hold on, hold on. You see, everyone will commit sin. He is not born with sin? Okay, hold on. Just to show you how stupid what you just said. Again, we got you what Muhammad said. Ignorant. This is your prophet speaking about an infant. He might go to hell. Why he will go to hell? He's an infant. He did not commit sin. Can you tell me why? Why an infant who die from a Muslim family, he might go to hell. Any Muslim want to scratch his head, his bum, give me an answer. He is an infant. He did not reach the age of maturity. He never commits sin. Aisha, she confirmed that. Read the hadith. Allah Messenger, she said to him, there is a happiness for this child who has no, he's a bird from the birds of paradise, for he commit no sin, nor has reached the age when one can commit sin. Muhammad he said to her, shut up Aisha, it might be the otherwise, he might go to hell. So if he is not born with sin, can you tell me why he will go to hell? He did not commit sin, he did not commit sin. Aisha saying that, he did not even reach the age of sin. He's in his diaper, so why he will go to hell? I'm waiting for the Muslim to scratch their head and their bum and give me an answer. Who's next? Who's next? Silence? What, what, what week had it? This is Sahih, Sahih Muslim. We can show it to you from Al-Bukhari, from other resource too. The ultimate fault, you know, nobody can be a man with you. You are the man. You are the man who have his own answers. We don't count, you don't count for us. You are just a stupid idiot. I'm not going to waste my time repeating. I ask you the question, does it say after? What after mean? It means cut off. What is cut off? He cannot have kids. Why this verse is mentioned and what we learn from it? Stupid. I ask you, where is the word of charity? Where is the word of charity, you donkey? I understand you are reading translation. That's why you always give me a stupid answer. There's no, there's no charity there. It says a slaughter. Slaughter is sacrifice, not a charity. Some are destiny for for hell, maybe. Okay, guys. Mr. Stranger, he tried to fix it, he make it more horrible. So he has just said to you that you might be this tonight to go to hell even if you commit no sin in Islam. <laughs> that even make it more horrible. Let me take a snapshot of this. This is a price test. I should add it to my book. Actually, I will add it to my book. I will make you famous. Some are destined for hell, so he commit no sin, yet he destined for hell. I mean, what kind of a stupid God this God is? You deny the child, he's an infant, to go to hell, yet he did not commit sin. Well, maybe you are destined to go to hell too. <laughs> what a stupid garbage cult. Garbage in, garbage out. So it's, it's based on your luck in Islam. It's not about what you do. You might get lucky and this tonight to go to heaven, but you might get not lucky and this tonight to go to hell. And we just saw the answer from a Muhammadan. This is, this is what he said. Let us put it in the screen again. Don't tell me he did not say that. This is what he said. It's destiny. Stop lying. Brother Abdul, he said to me, he did not say that. You see how they lie? I mean, we have it just still in the screen, and he said he did not say that. Can you believe it? 
Can you believe it? Now I will put what you said. That's not what he said. If the baby dies, Allah knows whether or not you would commit sin if you do live through adulthood. But the guy, he died. What if you live? I mean, how you can add the word, if you live, you idiot. The man, he died, the child, he died already. If he live, I mean, is that an option? Aisha, she speak about him because he died. He's already dead. What if he live? That's why I always I say stupidity is amazing. And this is what he said again. Some are destined for hell. So shut up, stop lying. He said destined. Not if he live. But I understand. You are ashamed of the stupidity of your prophet. So you have to fabricate your own answer. Changing even the answer of your brother. Who's next? Who is the next smart Muslim? He will try to solve it. And not only that, even Muslim, by the way, even adult Muslim, he is not the one who chooses where to go. Islam is based in destiny. As a stranger, he said, look at this. Let me show you a different hadith. <clears throat> Read this hadith and laugh. This is Sahir Bukhari. Muhammad speaking, not me. He said, and by Allah, a person among you may do the deeds of people of the fire till there is only a cubit or an arm be a breathe distance between him and fire. So what? This guy is all his life. He don't kill Christians. He don't rape Christian women. He don't kidnap them. He don't steal their churches. Ayah Sophia. He don't do that. He's a bad Muslim. He's not doing the good deed of Islam from raving to stealing to killing. He's not. So he will go to hell. But then the written which Allah ordered the angels to write, proceed. And he does the deed of people of Prada, isn't he? Interested? <laughs> so all his life was doing the opposite of the teaching of Allah. Then the predestiny, which is written by Allah, will take over. And the edict, he says to me, this is not what it says. So, and then he said the opposite, actually. He mentioned another case. The opposite, he said, and the man may de do the deeds of people of paradise till there's only a cupid or two between him and paradise, and then that is written, proceed, and he does the deeds of people of the fire, and he enter it. So it's not you who choose, it's a destiny, stupid religion, stupid cult. It's based in your luck. Based in your luck, what Allah, he wrote for you when he created you. This is why we say Islam is the most lovable, stupid ideology, cult. Why I don't speak about my own corrupt Bible? That's a good question, Mr. Islamic Defense. Guys, let me show you what Islamic Defense. See, Islamic Defense, he give up. We spanked him left and right, and now he have five fingers in his bum. Mark would copyright from my hands. So he said to us, why you don't speak about your corrupt Bible? That's a good question. But you forgot that the corrupt Bible you are talking about, because you are a Muslim, is the Bible of Allah. So you are saying to me, Allah is a stupid. He sent the book. It's called the Bible, and it's corrupt. So we should laugh at who now? We should laugh at Allah, because he is the one who is the author of the book. If your God cannot protect his book, what kind of God he is? You are the one who need to defend now. You are saying to me that the book of Allah, which sent by Allah, is corrupted. That means the Christian, the Jews, they give a finger to the bum of Allah, and they laugh at him. He says, okay, we laugh at you. <laughs> when we change your book, what you can do about it? So why Allah don't have a copy of the correct Bible? Do Allah have a copy? Well, it is. <laughs> so when a Muslim, he said those statements, we die laughing. Because the Quran confirmed that the Bible never be corrupted. Let's go to the stupid Quran. Just to show you that the Muslims are disconnected product of Islam. Like you cannot have part to fix them. Is that your Quran saying that Muhammad agree with the Christians and he believe in what they have? Hmm? Oh, let us change. Let us go to the translation. Give me a second.
Is that your Quran saying agreeing is in what with with them? Believing in what with them? Confirming what is with them? So the stupid you who do not know his book, he come to me, play with my nose, trying to find some boogers, he find nothing except the Quran. And there come to them, the Jews, the book, the Quran from Allah, confirming what is with them, the Torah and the Injil. Guys, does it say confirming what is with them? But this edict he just said, the Bible is corrupted. So the Quran confirm our book, the Muslim they say is corrupted. Yeah. Hashish religion. This is what's called Hashish. Did not say the Kitab Muqaddas, it make it all more, more clear. Because Kitab Muqaddas, holy book, it can be any book. Here he gave you the name, Injil, which is a Greek word, which is a stupid in the Quran to use such a name, because that means Jesus was a Greek according to Islam, because most of them they say, Allah, he never sent the book except in the language of the people, so you might understand. So Allah, he chose the Greek gospel, you stupid idiot. And then he confirmed the Torah. So what do you want more? The Torah and the Angel are conferred, you know, uh, 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 confirmed to be what is with them. Uh, Can you tell me where is Jesus from the age of 12 to 30? Where is, why there is a missing link? There's no missing link. There's no missing link. You see, what the Bible mentioned to us is what we need for salvation. Not everything happened. There's no missing link. Just to make you understand better. This is your Quran. Speaking about your God, that your God Allah, if He will write His words, if you have all the ocean convert into ink, will not be enough to write the word of God. Let us put the verse in front of you. Here you see that the Muslims, they are, they don't know what is written in their book. <clears throat> Let us see. I never saw, by the way, a Muslim. He understand what even the question. You see, they make a questions and it just to defend, but they don't know what they are asking. Let us see. <clears throat> what are you doing, man? And if all the trees on the earth were pens, and the sea were ink, the seven seas, where are the seven seas? Behind, there will not be enough supply to write the word of Allah. So, where, so we should have a book. We should have a book. All the water of the ocean converted to ink will not be enough to write the word of Allah. So the question will go back to you, where is that book? So what the Bible write is what is important for us for salvation, not everything. Right now, as we speak, God is working, as God is not dead, and there's nothing is written in a book about what they are doing. The angels of God, what they are doing, what they are saying, God himself, what he is doing, the Quran confirmed, that your God, Allah, never stopped talking. And if all the trees in the world are pins, and all the water in the earth is ink, will not be enough to write the word of Allah. So where we can find that book? And here you see the Muslims, because they are ignorant about their books, not only about our books, they get in trouble when they ask those questions. So the Bible did not mention 
everything about Jesus' life, for there is a reason for that. It's not meant to mention. Secondly, the disciples they accompanied Jesus after he announced himself as Jesus the Christ, not when he was at you know in the age of a child. So what they know about him is what they saw. This is why it says the witnesses, the witnesses, they witness. A witness he write what he saw, not what he heard. Who's next? And where we can find the book of Allah, which all the ink of the of the ocean will not be enough to write it. Is that the Quran? Any Muslim? Ah, oh, the original Injil. Okay, that, but that's mean. You see, guys, he said the original Injil. But this is when Muhammad, he came. That's mean the original Injil exists in the time of Muhammad. Thank you very much. So you Muslim, you have no excuse to say it's corrupted. Why well, Muhammad did not add the original Injil to his book? You just say that he accept what is with them. So why Muhammad did not say to the Muslims, okay, this is the Injil, copy it. And now we will give you additional to it to Quran. Stupid answer. The gospel of Jesus, not the corrupted, no problem. But it says what is with them. Certified donkeys. It says what is with them. What is with them. Which means with us. With us. Abdul. Hmm? What is with us? Confirming what is with us, not is with you. Any Mohammedan have anything to say? And by the way, we don't care if Muhammad agree with our book or not. He is a scam. He's a scumbag. He's a child molester. He is a criminal. He is a, is a fraud. He is a guy who sit in the front of men showing his testicles. He have no shame. He kiss men. He kiss men the, under their belly. Well, you have to prove it. It says, what is with us, you idiot? This is your Quran saying, what is with us? I mean, look at the answers they give us. It's horrible. They are saying the Quran is a lie. The Muslim, they are saying the Quran is a book of lies. Not, he is saying to us, this is, the, this is the true Injil. But it says, what is with them, you idiot? What is with you? Do you see it? Not it, what is you with you Muslims, what is with us? So, 600 years after Jesus, Muhammad came and confirmed that the book never changed. Idiot. <laughs> and why the Christians will change their book? I mean, who is those stupid will believe in this? Let us say there's a guy now, he came, he want to make a new gospel, we will spit at him. Who want to believe in this garbage? And how you can change it? Christianity is spread all over. There's Christians in India, Christian in Ethiopia, Christian in Greece, Christian in Africa, in Asia, all, all over. How you can change the book? Stupidity. Ah, confirm the truth. That's not what it says. You see, the problem is the Muhammad, when you try to answer, you know, they make poo poo. They are certified with their poopoo. And I like that. Because the more they, they do poopoo, the more we laugh. Confirming what is with them. Whatever is with us. What is with them. Anything with us is confirmed. It's truthful. Not some of it. What is with them. Namely, the Torah and the Gospel. 
only confirm the remnant of the truth of the Bible? Show me where it says that. Where it says that? It says confirm what is with them, not some of what is with them. Liars, you know they lie. I mean, it's in the front of their face. It says confirming what is with them. Okay, hold on. Did your prophet took an oath on the Torah and he say, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee? He put his hand in the top of the Torah. Did he swear only in, in, the, in the truth in it only? Or he say, I believe in thee. Here we go. This is your prophet, he said. Bring me the Torah. Bring me the Torah. And he took the Torah, who sat on it. He took the cushion, and he bring the Torah, and it was brought. Then he would draw the cushion from beneath of him, and he placed the Torah on it, saying, I believe in thee, and in him who revealed thee. Your prophet taken an oath. Oh, brother, he was taking an oath only in the cover. That's mean Muhammad is a fraud. Because when he, when he say to the Jews, I believe in thee, and that is the whole book in the front of him, but he believe only in some, that means he's lying. Who's next? Islam is the most stupid cult ever you can imagine. Scientific mistake, history mistakes, even names Muhammad cannot call it correctly. Everything in this book is a mistake. And yet an idiot who comes from the middle of nowhere, he will teach the Christians what is Christianity, the true Christianity. Read the rest, he says, believe in the tradition coming with the Torah. What tradition? What? Hold on. Okay, hold guys, guys. Okay, but he, he put the Torah... The rest is not him speaking. You stupid idiot. This is the commentary of Malik. The hadith is here. He said, bring the Torah, I believe in thee. And he believed in what? He believed in thee, in the book, and the tradition in the book. Yeah, this is a good answer. See, Ferry, he, he, he is uh, he's trying to give a hand to the Muslims, so he said, I believe that Muhammad, he took an oath on the cushion, not on the Torah. Ah, he put his hand on the cushion. He said, I believe in thee. <laughs> That's a good one. The Muslim until now, they did not come to this point, by the way. Stupid idiot. Okay, hold on. I challenge you to say that it didn't say that, G that Muhammad said, I believe in thee. And this is the end of the statement. Did he say that? And they were arguing with him about the stoning to death of a woman. So yes, he believed in what is written there, including the stoning to death. And by the way, Muhammad is a thief. He took it from them. He heard it there at that day. And then he put it later on the Quran. Later he deleted And we have tons of verses in the Quran confirming the Bible. Tons of verses, not only one. None of them it says confirming some of what is with them. All of them it says confirming what is with them. Not a single one says confirming some. However, who cares if your prophet confirms some or not? He is a fraud. Stranger, you know why you don't call me? I will give you a golden chance. And you show me one thing in the Quran proving Muhammad to be something special, something from God. You see, you can make a speech about Muhammad is, you know, if there is anything you can give us, you can say as you wish, you can say the Bible is corrupt, whatever you want. But you cannot deny that Jesus right now is in heaven. Muhammad is dead and the, 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 the cats and the rod, they licked him. And actually the Hadith says, that your prophet, when he died, he started farting gas coming from his belly. Anton, his fart, his gas is coming from his stomach. He became like a bright net woman because they did not bury him for three days. Do you want to show you the reference? Right? Why Muhammad, he died and he was... He was routing like a garbage 
And why the Muslim did not bury him for three days? Any Muslim can answer us? Why you refuse to answer him for you? Why you refuse to bury him for three days? The guy is dead. Why you? Why you don't want to bury him? Anyone can tell us? And then you cannot even wash his body because his skin is coming out. His nails became green. The smell is disgusting. His fingers, they collapse. Why you did not bury him for three days? Were you expecting him to come back to life like Jesus? I will tell you why. Because Muhammad is a fraud. He said that we as a prophet, our body will never decay. So the Muslim believed in his lie. And they did not bury him for three days. Read it. Among the most excellence of your days is a Friday. So invoke many salat, not blessing, on me in that day. For your salat will be submitted to me. Muhammad claimed to be a living person, even in the grave. They, the companion, they said, Well, Messenger of Allah, how we can send our prayer to you when your body will be decayed? He said, Oh, Allah has forbidden the earth from consuming the body of the Prophet. So they did not bury him for three days. Why do they want to bury him? Because nobody, the earth, the earth will not eat his body. So they can leave him out for, for a year, 10 years. Why Jesus sent God, God sent Jesus to hell for three days? That's a lie, my friend. Jesus never entered hell. You are a fabricator. The death, the death of Jesus is not about going to hell because even every, a normal believer, a normal believer, you don't go to hell until judgment day. You are just a stupid. You are misquoting the Bible, as usual, trying to change the topic. Why your prophet was not buried for three days until his body stink and he start farting gas all over the place? Chemical weapon. Why? The answer in front of you. Your prophet is a fraud. He promised the Muslim that his body will not decay. Did his body decay or not? The answer is yes. Then Muhammad lie. Change the topic. Right away they will talk about something else. Do you, do you notice how Muslims they jump from topic to topic to topic? They jump non-stop because it's embarrassing. Whatever they say, we spank them. So now they will change the topic. The Prophet Muhammad known for the truth. What? Okay, guys, the Prophet Muhammad was known for the truth. Look up every European leader. My friend, the European leaders, they fought your Prophet and they spanked him. This is why we have the crusade. Those are European leaders. If you are talking about European leaders today, this is politics. This is garbage. Your prophet, according to your Quran, he flattered with his, with his, his, his sorry, he flirted with his own son wife. And why you are changing the topic? You see how they change the topic? Why Muhammad his body decay if he promised that Allah will forbid the body of the prophet from being decay? He's a liar. Change the topic. Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad was known as a truthful. Yeah, he was a truthful to the point. He made the father of Khadija drunk. And when the guy in the morning wake up, him and Khadija, they told him, you married me to, uh, to Khadija. I mean, do you see how truthful he is? He used alcohol to do the first project in his life, getting married. Alcohol. He made the father of Khadija drunk. Say to me, you are a liar, call me, I will show you the reference. Who want to do that? Do you see how truthful he is? The first marriage, the first step in his life, he was a young man. It was a fraud. Who want to prove me wrong? Who dare to say to me, you are a liar? that he did not do the first marriage based on a fraud. They made the father of Khadija drunk. But the father of Khadija did not marry him to her. And not only that, they took off his clothes. Imagine how evil both of them, Khadija and Muhammad, they took off the clothes of the father of Khadija. And they dressed him in a nice suit, which is usually for occasions. The guy, he woke up in the morning, he says, why am I wearing those clothes? Khadija, you said, oh, you forgot you married me yesterday to Muhammad. It was my wedding. He said, I did not do that. 
He said, if you start doing that, it will be a shameful person for all the tribe. They will say, look, his daughter, she drunk him. Who want to call me and challenge me to show the reference? Look at them cowards. And what they will do? They will change the topic. Look, 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 they will change the topic. Look at the coming question is coming. <laughs> they will change the topic. Embarrassing. Each time, each time we show something, they say, it's a lie, you call me Muhammad Qadir. In the front of everybody, if a Christian prince cannot show the reference in authentic source from Islamic books, I will promise you I will never come online again. Do you dare to call me Muhammad Qadir? Who is a Muslim he dare to call me? The challenge is open. If I cannot show you this story from your Islamic website, from your Islamic books, which is not our books, I will never come online again. Anyone? Hmm. Silence. Quiet. The first thing Muhammad he did to establish his prophethood is to marry Khadija. And how he did it? By making the father of Khadija drunk. What kind of man he is? Ah, if the guys, if the hadith says the prophet did something bad, this is false. <laughs> okay, stranger. Stranger, I want to go with you. Your prophet, he said this. You see, I will change the topic for you, just to save your ass. Your prophet, he says this, and this is sahih. Do you accept him or not? Do you accept the stupid statement of your prophet that the women she have a sperm and it's yellow and thin and the man have a sperm it's yellow sorry it's white and thick and whoever of them comes first the baby gender will be resembled by the one who comes first do you accept what your prophet said or you don't i mean obviously your prophet is a doctor is a genius are you going to say this is not accepted too forget about this one what about the quran saying that the women she have a sperm and the men have a sperm and the sperm of the women coming from the ribs and the sperm of the man coming from the backbone is that daif quran too hmm. somebody saying why you are so scared of islam my friend the one is so scared from islam is you and the proof you don't allow us to preach the gospel in your country you are terrified you are terrified. We allow you to open mosque in Christian countries. We are not scared of Islam. It's you who is scared. It's you who flag our videos. It's you who ban our books. It's you who send letters to YouTube. Pakistan, Pakistan, the government of Pakistan, they have nuke. They send letters to YouTube about Christian prince. Who is the one who is scared? A guy in YouTube, government of Pakistan, they have nukes. They are afraid of a Christian prince. And you are talking about who is afraid? You are terrified. Your prophet have no balls. Why? Because we chopped them and we made them shish kebab and we gave them to the dogs. And now you are enjoying the suggestions. You are coming here, you coward. You don't dare to call me. And you are the one who is scared, not us. Show us where we got Khadija drunk. No problem. I want a Muslim to call me. I want a challenge. I want motivation. I'm like Muhammad. You want to challenge me? Any Mohammedan? Anyone? Muslim guys from Malaysia wanted to challenge you to debate you. What they are waiting for? I'm here. Okay. I mean, why those people, they say we want to challenge him, and Christian Prince is here, call him. Right now. Uh, don't tell me where his country are coming from, I don't care. At the end of the day, you will get spanked. And we will leave some nice fingerprint in your bum. Doesn't matter who you are. Call me now. Here we go, my Skype is open, you want to do it? Uh, zero Muslims.
All of them, they can refute me. After I finish my, my broadcast, you will see the text. Heroes. Muslims is the same as Muhammad. When Aisha, she came to him, she played with his hair. She said, I seek refuge, refuge by Allah from the penis when it stand up. So he told Aisha, the penis will not stand up. It doesn't matter how much you play with my hair. And I challenge any Muslim to say that this is a false interpretation. I am fabricating this interpretation. Who want to do that? Who want to do that? Oh, you accept the hadith over science? Okay, no problem. That's mean you, ag you agree that Muhammad is an idiot. You see guys what he said? He accept the Quran and the hadith over science. So why you say scientific miracle of the Quran, you liar? As long as you are admitting that it's against science. Eh, it's not the fraud. When they want it's science, when they want when when we we, we spank them, they agree. It's this is not science, this is stupid. Thank you. Muhammad penis never sleep. No, Muhammad penis never stand up. What are you talking about? This is why we showed you the chapter which is saying clearly people they were making fun of his penis. It doesn't function. And the verse we quoted about Waqab, because simply Aisha, she came to play with his hair, and he cannot have sex. And even the hadith confirmed that Muhammad is sexually disabled. Read carefully. You see, the Quran and the hadith is the laundry of Muhammad. All the dirty water is there. Read carefully. Is that Aisha saying the truth? Uh, maybe the Muhammadan today, they are the one who knows and they are the expert about the balls of Muhammad, not Aisha. The Prophet continued for such and such period, imagining that he had slept, had sexual relationship with his wife, but in fact he did not. Do you see it? He never did. Do you see it? He never did. Bible teach flat earth, yeah, we challenge you to prove it. The Quran is the one teach flat earth. That's why the, your, your prophet says that Allah, he come down in the earth in the third part of the night. Because if Muhammad don't believe the earth is a flat, that's mean your God, Allah is a yo-yo. He keep coming up and down. Do you know how many third zone of the earth, of the, of the, of the night there is in a day? Your prophet says that. And the Quran full of verses speaking about flat earth. Idiot. Yet there's no single verse in the Bible says the earth is a flat. Actually, the earth is in the shape of a sphere. The Quran, the Bible says that. Quratul Ard. Go read it if you know Arabic. Quratul Ard. Quratul Ard. God, he hanged the earth on nothing. And he made the earth like a sphere or a ball. That's what the Bible says. It's your Quran who says that Allah, he made the earth a flat carpet. Challenge me, call me and I will show you both. I will show you all the verses. For free. All the spank we do for free. You see, your prophet, his penis doesn't work. So is your penis. Prove to me that you are a man and you have one. Call me. What happened? What kind of a prophet? He imagined himself having sex, but in fact he did not. What happened? Is he mentally ill? Who is a Muslim and explain to us? Muhammad was imagine having sex with who? If it's not the wives. And this is during daytime. This guy is not asleep. He said to Aisha, did you like the sex? She said, what sex? You did not touch me, idiot. Anyone reject Sahir Bukhari? This is Sahir Bukhari. The funny, they call it authentic Bukhari. The second we show them what is written there, they say this is not authentic. You see, Muslim, you made me thirsty, man. But while I drink water, you drink camel urine. Have fun. <clears throat> All right, look like none of those Abdul dare to call me, what we can do. I need to wash my hands, you know, too much spanking in their bum. And you know, there's Corona these days. I mean, smell bad too. I mean, too much spanking me. 
I should buy some divers and make them force them to wear diver before they call me. For security reason. I mean, it's not even fair. Even even my hand is uh, look disgusting. Now. Look at this. I mean, what is that? The, the last guy I spanked him, did he eat fish or something? I mean, why, why smell like that? I mean, what, what, what did you eat, man? By the way, do you know that the prophet, he used to have a leak in his bum? I mean, have you ever heard the prophet, he have a leak? Why? What he was doing there in his bum to the point he lost control of his... Uh, uh, he leak. The leaking prophet. Hmm. Anyway, I think we have enough for today. Disgusting. Uh, I hate you all. Let us pray, brother, sisters, a good prayer as, as Allah order us. May Allah destroy the Christian. May Allah destroy the Jews, brother. What, what kind of religion is religion? Is? I mean, you have to agree that the devil himself is way, way decent than Muhammad. The devil himself. Look at them. They are dead. Anyway, did we have a good time? Don't forget to download the video, share it with your friends, and love to gather at the stupidity of Muhammad. And I promise you, Muslims, Erdogan is taking our church tomorrow. God is my witness. I will make as many books as I can. Will cost you a lot. Your kids will leave Islam left and right. I will make every single Indonesian doubt the cult of Muhammad. Every single one from Bangladesh. My books will be translated to Chinese, Korean, every language you can imagine. And we will take our churches back. And who is going to take it? Your children's. And they will make it a church again. And you will see. Time will come, my friend. You are not better than the Roman. The Roman, they tried to defeat Jesus. They could not. You are not stronger than them. You are way weaker. Islam is already dead. We made Islam look as it should look. And more work will be done. So if you think you can steal a church from us, you are mistaken. A church is not a building. A church is us. As long we are living, and our Lord is a Lord of living. The Messiah is the walking, talking, living word of God. For he is God himself. You cannot fight such a person. So when you fight, you are not fighting the Christians, you are fighting the Messiah. How dare you? How stupid of you. You have no idea you are fighting who. And time will come, and those who commit crimes will pay. And those who deserve heaven, they will go to heaven. Be ready. When the Messiah come, he will order his angels, and he will say, bring them in front of me. And you will pay. All the criminals who commit crimes against Christ, because any crime you commit, it's against God. Any crime, even if a Christian, he kill a Muslim, and the Muslim don't deserve the killing, he commit a crime against Christ. If a Christian kill a Hindu, and the Hindu could do nothing wrong, the Christian, he commit a crime against Christ. And that goes for every human. Every human who could a Christian for nothing, just because he's a Christian, he commit a crime against God. And especially the Christians who he said, you are the same as my eye. Who dare to touch you? Just watch. May the Lord bless you all. And until we see you soon again, I will try to go live on air tomorrow. Please don't forget to subscribe. And join us in what we do as you see here we are not perfectly correct and we will never be and it's against my nature never be perfectly correct because the second you are it's the same second you are an apostate from the teaching of christ never hesitate, hesitate to say the truth doesn't matter who is asking you. If you are afraid, if you are ashamed to say what Jesus taught you, then you are no Christian.
as simple as that. Those who deny me, I will deny them in the front of the Father. The words of my Lord. Never deny him, otherwise you will pay too. The same as the Muslims. And how you deny him? By saying good words about false prophet like Muhammad. By lying. Saying stupid false statement against the Bible. By being perfectly correct. If somebody asks you, is homosexuality a sin, you don't dare to say so, that's mean you are not a Christian. The Bible says so. Why are, are you ashamed now of your Bible? Well, this is the teaching of the Bible. This is what the Bible teaches. This is my book. This is my God. And it's what I believe. The same as I believe that gambling is sin. The same as I believe that theft is sin. That's what I believe. So if you are ashamed to say what you believe in, you are no Christian. Don't call yourself a Christian. Call yourself whatever you want. Don't add your name to a holy name like the Messiah name, claiming to be a person who belonged to him. Yet you don't dare to say what he said to you. If you are afraid to say it, you are a coward. You don't belong to him. As simple as that. And if they say to you, how you say that? This is say, this is what I believe. This is what my Bible teach me. Hello, I'm a Christian. I am a Christian. Never compromise. And the second you compromise, they will ask you for more compromise. Until they strip you from your clothes and make you naked. They will never stop anywhere. You compromise with something small tomorrow, they want something bigger. The day after, they want something bigger until they strip you from everything. Never. Say it as it is. You like it, like it. You don't like it. Let him put his head in the bum of Obama. Thank you, everybody. May the Lord bless you. And we apologize for tough language we use. But our topic is garbage filthy so i apologize for when i speak about a cult like muhammad the topic itself the nature of the topic is filthy dirty and this is why sometimes we go down in our language to a place we don't sh or we should not be speaking like but what we can do i mean what you expect from person is a cleaning garbage is a cloth will be clean no Sadly, I'm the one who cleaned the garbage. I'm not like those, you know, priests who go on the stage. They have the luxury of reading the Bible only. I don't have that luxury. Enjoying just the word of God. My hands is clean. My head is clean. My thought is clean. Because I'm just reading the Bible. But I am speaking about a filthy, disgusting garbage cult. It's called Islam. So my hands is dirty. My words are not suitable for us as a Christians. But what I can do, I cannot sugarcoat the devil. I say things as it is, and the truth hurt. Thank you. God bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And don't forget to download the video. And we appreciate those who support us in every way and every mean including translation, spreading the videos, and donation. Thank you, and God bless you.